Hello everybody, Eric, a secondary machine out in the shop today. I'm just getting ready to jump in and start. Actually, I already started. I took a couple things off of this, but I'm getting ready to jump in, take this uh, mill head apart on the 8520 Clousing and put new spindle bearings in it. The bearings have been sitting here for a bit. So I've got a match set for the bottom of the spindle. I've got uh, one for the top of the spindle. And then there's two more bearings that actually go uh, for the, the very top up here. Um, and so I'm just getting ready to jump in and start tearing this apart. Now, luckily, there's a, uh, a really comprehensive write-up that a guy did on rebuilding this exact head with pictures and everything where he really goes into detail on exactly how to do it. I don't have a lot of experience with bearings. Like, I've changed bearings on, like... Uh, on uh, motorcycle wheels and stuff, but I've never done anything in terms of like a spindle bearing. I also watched a really good uh, video. I think the name of the channel is uh, Rob Renz. Um, he did, did a really comprehensive video on spindle bearings as he was doing the uh, the bearings on his, uh, his mill also. So I've watched uh, that video and picked up a lot of information there. And then also, like I said, there's a really nice write-up which I've got in PDF form. I'll uh, link to both of those things in the description if you wanna check them out yourself. But uh, anyway, I'm just getting ready to jump into this project. I'm a little bit hesitant because I don't have experience with this sort of stuff, but I do feel pretty confident that I can do it. I'm fairly mechanically inclined. And so it's always, you know, I tend to be kind of pessimistic when it comes to mechanical stuff, just because, you know, if it can, it will. Murphy's Law, right? Um, I always seem to think that, you know, I'll be up against something that maybe I can't figure a way around. But uh, I feel like I can probably do this and that it'll come out good. Now, the whole reason that I'm doing this, actually, is because this should only have about two-tenths to run out. And it actually has about two-thousandths. Although, you know, when I run the machine, I really can't tell that that 2000 is there. As an example, I just had to build myself another T-nut. Um, I sent out, I did actually sell the other uh, Atlas Craftsman lathe, or actual Atlas lathe that was out here that I was using. And I tooled that up with everything that was needed to go with it, including my tool post and some uh, holders. And so I had to order myself a new one. So um, anyway, that machine is now gone and I've switched to using this one. But anyway, I just made this T-nut on the 8520 and, you know, I've done a, a few little projects on this machine and I honestly can't tell that that 2000 is there, but I would like to get rid of it if I can. And so today I'm jumping in and I'm getting started on that. So the uh what else was i going to talk about here um the uh i guess with the bearings I've, I've just been collecting everything that i need like i've got the grease and stuff that need to go in these uh that's this stuff here that was the correct grease for my other mill which is out in the other shop which i think is actually probably sold today i'm waiting to hear back from the guy he made an offer on it i'm, I'm not going to get the full uh, asking price maybe but there is somebody that came and looked at it that I think wants to take it home. So um, anyway, uh, the one other thing going on with this is I would like to get it done because yesterday I ordered glass scales and a DRO kit for it. All the DRO stuff I've done in the past, I've never gone with glass scales. I've always gone with the uh, the other scales. Uh, I don't know what those are called. I think they're magnetic, but uh, they tend to flex and stuff. And I just don't think they're as precise as glass ones. And uh, there's some other stuff with those ones, like they run off of batteries and, you know, the glass scales. I'm going to be able to plug that right into a wall. I just think it's an overall better deal. So those are supposed to get here within the next week or so from Amazon. And so I would like to have the spindle bearings already done so I can get started working on trying to get the, uh, the uh, DRO put on this. So it'll be nice to have that. Although it was good practice to do like some of the smaller... Uh, easy stuff. It's good practice to be able to know that you can work off of the dials, but you know, it's just going to be really nice to have a DRO onto that machine. And so anyway, this is part one of this. I'm getting ready to start ripping it down. I'll make a part two once I'm into the head and uh, we see what's going on up in there and uh, we'll take it from there. So I will talk to you guys again soon.